So, uh, hello Cars Fire fans, this is Carl in Pensacola, and I have a 05 Crossfire SRT6 convertible, and today this video will be on replacing the subwoofer speakers that are located in the back of the uh, driving compartment behind the two uh, passenger seats, and uh, I already have the speakers out and analyzed, and uh, you can see the uh, shells are pretty much destroyed here along the sides and what we're going to do is we're going to replace these with uh, some really nice kicker uh, comp RT speakers uh, these have got to be two ohm speakers there's the part number for you and these are uh, really nice speakers they're low profile so they'll fit in the space but it's going to require some modifications and uh, I'll show you those in just a second and uh, I've already done one of the two sides you have to remove the carpet and the carpet comes out uh, be careful of the plastic at the top around your roll bars when pulling it straight down uh, the grill comes out and here's the grill piece it's mounted vertically behind the seats and on the back side you'll notice that the uh, clips are along the top edge and the bottom edge of the grill and what I usually use is a little tool similar to this and go down and and sort of sort of poke down from the top and uh, uh, be careful popping that grill off uh, it is mounted uh, right here on the face one of the things you'll see is that uh, the speakers are mounted backwards in the driving uh, compartment facing the trunk and so that acts as a subwoofer chamber a little area behind between the uh, actually between the uh, bulkhead the back bulkhead of the uh, driving compartment and the trunk area and so this clips in as you can see right here to this plastic frame uh, this is the shell that uh, the speaker fits in there are four uh, T20 torque screws that uh, that mount that in and so here's your frame now this frame comes apart into two pieces and here are your uh, uh, wiring harness that unclips uh, the car harness fits right into there be careful pulling that out but uh, you'll have four leads going to the speakers uh, one of the videos on this subject talks about polarity and on this car uh, you have a, a plus and a minus. The pluses are the red connector and the gray connector. And one way to tell, the plus connectors are just a little bit wider and fatter than the negative connectors, the blacks and the greens. And one of the tricks I've found when putting in this particular install is on the, uh, on the Comp RT, you have spring-loaded color color matched connectors you push down and a little hole opens up you put the wire through there and then release it and it springs it and clips it in place if on these spade connectors you'll take a flat pair of dikes like this with a pretty wide grip grab a hold of one of these things and then slightly give it a twist you will end up with just this piece of the connector left that perfectly fits in that hole so you're not going to have to do any soldering or figuring out you know wire stripping or anything like that that'll save you a lot of time in in doing this particular job okay one of the videos also said hey we've got to we've got to start to cut into this plastic and indeed you do because if you see the profile of the kicker this kicker is pretty wide all the way up. If you look at the back profile of your uh, standard speaker, it comes down almost in, like into a pyramid type. And so you're going to run into some interference fits getting this guy into the hole, but it is doable. And to do that, you need your handy-dandy Dremel tool with the uh, little cutting disc. This will cut through that plastic just like a knife through butter. So sort of be careful when you start to uh, uh, make your incisions on the, uh, on the plastic. This does come apart into two sections. 
So that'll be the first step um, to to pop this un, undone. It's held in here with uh, two clips. So you come over on this side, down here at the bottom, spring this clip. And it's hard to do it with one hand holding a um, iPad. This recording on an iPad. But you clip these, these undone. And it lifts off like that. So that's that's your that's your front piece facing the driver's compartment. You will have to cut a notch in in an area right in here uh, for that speaker to fit in. But the main piece that you're going to have to cut out is the piece right in here. You can see where that speaker is going to come and it's going to pretty much need to be widened out right in here so what I've done is if you come along this edge right here this big fat edge and you cut right from there all the way around to here and come down here all the way basically to the base and then come straight across the bottom of this base all the way around to there that'll open up the hole you'll need for making uh, making this particular uh, piece work with the uh, kicker speaker, okay. Uh, otherwise, the speaker just will not drop in. As you can see, you know it just will not fit right now because you've got this piece that's interfering, and that's what's going on. Also, when you start to mount this up, so you don't have to cut into the wires or do extension wires. Make sure you orient this in dropping it in there's four uh, there, you'll, you'll find a lot more screw holes on the uh, on the kicker speaker but all four will perfectly align but make sure when you put the speaker in that this wiring harness with the short wires are very close to two of the sets of the poles because these wires are short and they're going to have to come in right here so uh, if you screw it in a different way then you'll have to move it around so so line it up to where where this is very close to one of these uh, sets of speakers or, or connectors uh, that's going to be, be it we'll call this part one of this particular thing we've got some we've uh, we've been able to give you guys some very good tips and tricks and uh, hopefully this these uh, these base woofers, and these are special woofer speakers, 2 ohm. Make sure you, you get the 2 ohm kickers. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll rock when, when we get this job finished. Okay, see you later. Bye.